Cal, and welcome to my world. It is the end of the month, which only means one thing. <gasps> DIY gaming box time. So, what happens, if you don't know, at the end of every one of these videos, I spin this roulette wheel right here. Whenever number it lands on, correlates with a games console that I own. And then for the next month, I have to try and buy some games for that one system within a budget of £25, getting a good mix of quality and quantity. So, last month, I spun the wheel and it landed on the Nintendo Wii. So, before we spin this wheel again at the end of the video, stay tuned for that. Let's take a look and see what I got with my £25 for this month for the Nintendo Wii. One of my all-time favourite systems. So, let's dig into the box. And first up we have a £10 game. And this one is a, uh, a sequel, or at least same in, the, in the same series as one that I already have for the Wii. That one is the Umbrella Chronicles. This one is Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. There we go, if we can get the lighting nice. Yep, so £10. Completing box, thankfully, from Sex. And it is a fantastic light gun on rails shooter for the Nintendo Wii. Set within the Resident Evil universe. And it's better than the Survivor games that people tend to really, really hate. I always enjoyed Survivor back in the day on the PS1, but I haven't played it since, so I don't know. But yeah, the uh, two light gun style shooter games on rails of the Wii are fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just you go around shooting zombies and other monsters set within the Resident Evil world, and it's just fun. You know, that's what I like about the Nintendo Wii. Tons of games are just so much fun, and this one, yeah, so you go around, shoot things, obviously try and figure out what the hell's going on, who's let some other virus loose this time, fight some gigantic boss monsters, and try and survive. So, yeah, very happy with that purchase. Next, and lastly, a £15 game, another on-rails light gun style shooter, and it is Dead Space Extraction. Again, try and get the light in nice. Yep, this also completing box. Yay! So, um, Dead Space series I've never played before. Um, not really been that interested, but uh, yeah, you know, the eerie, atmospheric, you know, in space, aliens, you know, I, lots of isolation, I believe, as well. You go around um, trying to survive and killing the aliens. This brings all of that gameplay to the Wii. On rails again, so you know, light gun shooter on rails, and yeah, it's still got that eerie atmosphere that you would expect from a dead space game, I guess. As I said, I haven't played them, but I've seen enough of them to know what to kind of expect. So, yeah, it definitely feels it feels more of a game, I guess, than Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. In that, that yeah, on rails, that's just kind of all it is. This has it seems to have a bit more of it. It's a bit more of a meaty game as well as just the on-rail shooting and stuff, so that's really, really cool. Uh, it was Wii exclusive for a long time. I think it got a PS3 release at some point. Not too sure on that, but yeah, I'm very happy with that. So two fantastic on-rail light gun shooters for the Nintendo Wii. Right, all that's left to do now is spin the wheel and see what I have to collect for in the month of August. So I'll move those out of the way. Put my lovely little spinny wheel. Get the camera. <coughs> oh, really tight. Oh, right. Okie dokie. Let's see. So, spin the wheel and we'll see what it lands on for this month. Doo -doo -doo. Uh -huh. What have we got? Number 15, which is... Ooh, the Nintendo DS. Interesting. Yeah, the, uh, the DS. Uh, ooh, a great system. Crap ton of games. But I think it is sort of getting to the point now where... Um, a lot of the games I want are getting expensive. So... It's going to be an interesting month at least. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what I can get. Uh, I'm pretty sure the DS was one of the very early, if not maybe the first, um, DIY gaming box videos. I uh, can't remember exactly, but yeah, it was a very early one. And 
I got a bundle of games for a really good price uh, and lots that I wouldn't probably but potentially go after so yeah I can try and pick up some that I wouldn't normally get you know it doesn't have to be on my want list which like I said are going to be expensive ones I don't want to just end up with one game um, if I can help it uh, <laughs> might have to do that depending on what the uh, the other choices are but yeah look forward to seeing uh, what's for the DS so I'm Big Cal thanks for watching let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the games I got this month and let me know if there's any DS games in particular I should really be looking out for that are still cheap but very good. So I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.